Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. In this video, you will learn how to find the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equations. But before that, alamin muna natin kung saan ba galing ang formula ng sum and the product of roots of a quadratic equations. So actually class, galing din ito sa quadratic formula. Given that the roots are x sub 1 is equal to negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a and x sub 2 is equal to negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So, let's add para maderive natin ng formula ng sum of the roots. So, dito mukha lang siyang mahirap pero para ka lang nag-add ng similar fraction. Sa pag-add ng similar fraction, add the numerator and copy the same denominator. So, let's combine similar terms in the numerator. Negative b minus b is equal to negative 2b. And then, uh, the square root of b squared minus 4ac minus square root of b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Kaya naman, magiging negative 2b all over 2a. And negative 2b divided by 2a is negative b all over a. So, yung formula natin class sa pagkuha ng sum uh, ng roots ay negative b over a. Okay, so next naman natin class i-derive yung uh, formula ng product of the roots. So, multiply lang natin. So, meron tayong negative b plus square root of b squared minus 4ac uh, divided by 2a times negative b minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. At dito, para ka lang ding nagmumultiply ng fraction. So, pag nagmultiply tayo class ng fraction, uh, multiply lang natin yung kanilang numerators and multiply the denominators. So, magiging b squared minus the quantity of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 4a squared. At syempre, para alam nyo kung paano nakuha, so pansinin natin class yung numerator, siya ay nasa uh, form ng sum and difference of two binomials. Kaya naman, minultiply lang natin yung kanilang first term and then multiply the second term. So, negative b times negative b is equal to b squared. And then, positive times negative is equal to negative and square root of b squared minus 4ac times the square root of b squared minus 4ac makakancel yung kanilang radical naging b squared minus 4ac. At dun sa denominator natin, 2a times 2a is 4a squared. Okay, next, alisin naman natin class or ilabas natin doon sa loob ng parenthesis magiging b squared minus b squared plus 4ac divided by 4a squared. So, notice class na nabago yung sign because uh, negative times b squared or negative times positive is equal to negative. And then, negative times negative is equal to positive. Kaya naman naging plus 4ac. Then, next b squared minus b squared is equal to 0. Then, 0 plus 4ac is 4ac. Kaya naman, naging 4ac all over 4a squared. And then, simplify natin. So, magiging c over a. The formula for the product of the roots is c over a. Now, Let's use this formula to find the sum and the product of the roots of um, x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
At syempre, tandaan, dapat lagi class na sa standard form bago natin kunin ang value ng A, B, and C. So, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 3. Then, ilalagay lang natin class dun sa ating formula na negative B over A para makuha natin yung sum of the roots. So, magiging negative 4 or negative times the quantity of 4 divided by 1. So, negative 4 divided by 1 is equal to negative 4. So, negative 4 is the sum of the roots. Next, doon naman tayo sa product of the roots. So, gamit naman class yung C over A. So, letter C natin class is uh, 3. Then, yung A natin is 1. So, bali magiging 3 divided by 1. So, 3 divided by 1 is 3. So, the product of the roots is equal to 3. Now, isolve naman natin yung roots ng quadratic equation. Para lang may pakita ko sa inyo na isolve man o hindi ang roots ay pwede pa rin nating makuha ang sum and product of the roots of the given quadratic equation. So, gamitan natin class ng quadratic formula. Next is substitute the values of A, B, and C. Then, uh, simplify lang natin. Pagkatapos, uh, kunin natin yung difference dun sa loob ng radical. So, 16 minus 12 is 4. Pagkatapos, kunin naman natin yung square root ng 4. So, square root ng 4 is positive o plus or minus 2. And then, solve for the value of x. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Doon naman sa kabila, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So, yung roots natin class is negative 1 and negative 3. Now, sa so kunin natin yung sum nila, negative 1 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 4. So, tama, tama yung nakuha natin, class, gamit yung formula. Next, multiply natin, negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So, tama pa rin yung nakuha natin gamit yung formula doon sa product of the roots. Okay, next example. Find the sum and the product of the roots of x squared minus 6x minus 27 is equal to 0. So, kunin natin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to negative 27. Then, gamitin natin yung formula para makuha natin yung sum ng roots. So, yung formula natin is negative b all over a. So, yung value ng b natin is negative 6. Again, class, pagka tayo ay na, uh, gumagamit ng formula at nililipat natin yung ating coefficient, huwag natin kalimutang gumamit ng parenthesis para hindi tayo magkamali sa mga operation or sign. So, magiging negative times the quantity of negative 6 all over 1. So, simplify natin yon negative times the quantity of negative 6 or minus the, uh, the quantity of negative 6 magiging positive 6 because negative times negative is positive. So, positive 6 over 1 is equal to 6. Okay, next, sa so product, Meron tayong C over A. So, letter C natin is uh, negative 27 divided by 1. So, negative 27 divided by 1 is equal to negative 27. So, para makita uli natin kung tama yung nakuha natin doon sa ating formula, try natin class kunin yung uh, roots ng quadratic equation. So, gamitan naman natin to ng uh, factoring. So, yung factor nito class is x plus 3 times x minus 9. Or the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 9 
is equal to 0. After that, yung ating zero product property. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x minus 9 is equal to 0. Then, solve for the value of x uh, using subtraction property of equality and addition property of equality respectively. So, magiging x is equal to negative 3 and x is equal to positive 9. Now, i-add natin negative 3 plus 9 is equal to positive 6. Ayan, so tama yung nakuha natin gamit yung formula sa sum of the roots. Next, multiply natin plus negative 3 times 9 is equal to negative 27. So tama pa rin yung nakuha natin gamit ang formula. So hindi naman natin class kailangan pang isolve talaga yung roots para lang makuha yung sum and product of the roots.